I'm going to show you an easy way of determining whether a substituent on a benzene ring is orthopara or metadirecting without having to memorize anything. You probably already know the ortho, meta, and para positions on a benzene ring. You probably also already know that electron donating groups on benzene rings are ortho para directing and electron withdrawing groups are meta directing. You may also know that electrophilic aromatic substitution on the ortho or para positions are considered activating reactions, meaning they more readily occur. And electrophilic aromatic substitution on the para position is preferred because that position is farther away from the substituent that's already on the benzene ring. And of course, if you know all that, then you probably also know that electrophilic aromatic substitution on the meta positions of the benzene ring are considered deactivating reactions meaning they less readily occur. But do you know how to determine whether a group is electron donating or electron withdrawing and whether it's orthopara or meta directing without memorizing all of these? That's what I'm going to show you now. To determine whether electrophilic aromatic substitution is orthopara directing or meta directing, we have to look at the groups that are already directly attached to the benzene ring and determine whether they are electron donating groups or electron withdrawing groups. How do we do that? Well, start by looking at the atom directly attached to the benzene ring and comparing it to the atoms attached to it. If the atom attached to the benzene ring is more electronegative than the atoms attached to it, it will shift electrons toward itself therefore donating electrons into the ring, making this an electron donating group, which will cause ortho para directing substitution. Now let's look at the other example. So same thing, look at the atom directly attached to the benzene ring and compare it to the atoms attached to it. If the atom attached to the benzene ring is less electronegative than the atoms attached to it, meaning oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, the oxygen atoms will shift electrons toward itself, therefore withdrawing electrons from the ring, making this an electron withdrawing group, which will cause meta-directing substitution. So notice, based on electronegativity, if the arrows are pointing into the ring, we have electron donating groups. If the arrows are pointing out of the ring, we have electron withdrawing groups. So now let's take a look at another couple examples. Once again, we'll start by looking at the atom directly attached to the benzene ring and comparing it to the atoms directly attached to it. If the atom directly attached to the benzene ring is more electronegative than the atoms attached to it, it will cause a shift in electrons toward itself, therefore donating electrons into the ring, making this an electron donating group, which will cause ortho para directing substitution. So same thing with this example, we'll start by looking at the atom directly attached to the benzene ring and comparing it to the atoms directly attached to it. In this case, we will focus on the oxygen because it is a higher priority group than the hydrogen. And the carbon that is directly attached to the benzene ring is less electronegative than the oxygen, which means oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, which will shift electrons toward it therefore withdrawing electrons from the benzene ring, making this an electron withdrawing group, causing meta-directing substitution. So now notice all arrows are pointing into the ring, meaning electrons are being donated into the ring, making this an electron donating group. And on this example, all arrows are pointing out of the ring, meaning electrons are being withdrawn out of the ring, making this an electron withdrawing group. Electron donating groups that have negative charges, extra lone pairs, or are at least electron rich tend to be strongly activating. Electron donating groups that have at least slightly electron rich attachments tend to be moderately activating. And electron donating groups with attachments that are not electron rich tend to be weakly activating. 
The halogens are a bit of an exception. They're electron donating groups and they're ortho pair directing, but they're weakly deactivating, which means reactions or substitutions onto the ortho or para positions will not readily occur. This is because halogens tend to be electron rich, however, they are quite electronegative, which means they will not easily contribute any of their lone pairs to the benzene ring to open up the ortho or para positions for substitution. Electron withdrawing groups with at least one electronegative atom attachment tend to be moderately deactivating. And electron withdrawing groups with positive charges or way more electronegative atom attachments tend to be strongly deactivating, meaning the least readily to occur. Simple as that.